then I go on to this big back piece. So I'll tell you a little bit of a backstory um, before I start. You know, I'm telling him about my life and my journey and my trials and tribulations and everything that I have been through and, you know, just open. You know, what's he going to do to me? And, you know, we became good friends. You know, he wound up working on my back and that was a year's, you know, worth of free needle therapy. Um, so I was telling him about the things that I, you know, wanted in, in my life and things that meant things to me. And, you know, maybe one day I would do more work. Um, and I came in one day just to see him and bullshit. And he had, you know, and I was talking about, you know, maybe drawing something and he drew up this, this, this little thing. And I'm like, what is that? And he's like, oh, it's for you. I'm like, well, it was kind of like a piecemeal thing. I'm like, yeah, you know, like, eh, if I was going to do something, you know, I'd want it to be like big because my life is big. My carbon footprint on this earth is going to be huge. <laughs> so um, when I had come in after that, he pulls out this big drawing, big, huge. And I was like, he's like, that's for you. When do you want to start? I had tears in my eyes because it was so beautiful. The phoenix, the mandala above the phoenix. Um, the, the two elephants, the mother and the child, and the mother's tusk is holding a lotus flower. The feathers from the phoenix come down as like peacock colors. Um, it was just really spectacular. And I was overwhelmed by it. And I was scared at the same time. And I was like, fuck it, let's just do it. It's my back. I don't see it. But maybe somebody else will see it. And maybe somebody else can relate to my story. Or make their own story. Or be inspired by my story. Or find strength in my story to find their own strength. So... It's like my body became a story to be read and told by your own perspective, your own observations. 